everyone. Welcome back to another Beyblade vs. Rise unboxing. And today we are opening up Zone Illuminor L5. And this one's been a long time coming. Just haven't been able to pick it up from my local shop. So ordered it online and it's here now. And uh, let's quickly admire him while he's still sealed up. And uh, that nice graphic that uh, Hasbro do on their packaging with these Rise Bays up in the top right there and uh, over to the back now for our parts so starting off with our chip here so it's a left spinning chip and then down to um, our layer our energy layer so it's an attack type um, then we've got our forge disc so d60 um, 76 sorry or uh, the hypersphere version of drake and then our performance tip is TH04 or the hypersphere version of Spyro or um, Spyro H. And then we've got our stat for the tip itself. So it's got two for runtime and four for drop in rate. So it's not going to be running for too long, but we're going to get a decent amount of movement out of it. And that is it for the packaging. Let's get this opened up. Everything out of our packaging now. Always quick with these single packs. Uh, no plastic ties to cut away. And uh, let's start with our chip and layer. So here we have our Lunar L5 energy layer and chip combined. And let's talk design to start with. So it's an attack type and there's just no mistaking that with this bay. We've got these uh, large uh, blade type sections surrounding the energy layer. And uh, on the bigger ones, uh, we've got twin dragon designs and they themselves have all these sharp points. Um, and we've got uh, some decent gaps in between as well. So with all that combined, you're going to get a really nice uppercut uh, effect and uh, some good grip to that so uh, yeah a very uh, very much an attack uh, type bay um, with all of that and uh, now let's talk uh, coloring so uh, compared to the Takira Tony one as usual Hasbro have left quite a lot of uh, the coloring out and I'm just going to grab uh, the TT one here and uh, Mine's got no stickers on it, so you can see how much they have left out with that. Uh, if I did have stickers on this, this would have quite a bit of colouring to it. Um, but, uh, you know, compared to it without, the only thing that Hasbro have added is uh, these blue um, bits here on the smaller blades. So, yeah, uh, uh, quite a lot missing, missing colour-wise. Um, and now... Uh, We've got the exclusion of metal, as always, with these rise bays. Uh, so uh, you can see um, those twin dragon heads would be metal, as well as uh, the weight system um, that the TT one has. Uh, Hasbro um, has that design, but it's not a removable weight system, just part of the mold made out of plastic. And uh, next, let's get that chip out, have a look at it. With our Luna L5 chip, we've got silver specks through the plastic, which actually don't mind that at all. And as I mentioned, it is missing quite a bit of coloring on it. I'm just going to grab the TT one again uh, to show you design-wise. They are so incredibly similar that you could probably get these mixed up if it wasn't for that center bit there uh, molded into the Hasbro one and uh, then we've got uh, the other difference being the teeth on uh, TT where Hasbro of course has their slope system and I, I will turn him over so you can grab that QR code there for yourself and uh, that's it for the chip now let's have a look at our forge disc and our forge disc is D76 or Hasbro's hypersphere version of Drake. And uh, it's uh, an attack type of 
forge disc and you can see that with those very similar to the layer um, blades surrounding it uh, then uh, we've got the twin heads um, included on those blades as well and uh, it's got an all right amount of weight to it uh, nothing compared to the Takira Tomy one um, because uh, as you'll see I'll just grab it here uh, they've eliminated the plastic that surrounds uh, the metal there so that takes away uh, quite a bit of its weight and the other thing that they've done is uh, um, the TT1 has uh, some curved surfaces to those dragon heads and uh, other bits of uh, the uh, the metal part of the disc and uh, Hasbro have just flattened those out so uh, no real curved surface um, on any of these sections at all um, so yeah that's our forge disc last up is our performance tip our performance tip is the hypersphere version of Spyro or Spyro H which I've actually covered before in a previous unboxing of a double pack with the race Devilos and left Astro uh, where left Astro came with it um, but we will go over it again real quick so left Astro came with a blue one I actually like this purple color a lot more, but that's just a personal color preference from me. Uh, let's talk design now, and uh, we'll do a quick comparison with the TT1. Um, check out our similarities here. So the TT1 has uh, this small star, uh, angled star-shaped tip to it, and uh, we can see that here on Hasbro's, uh, but that's not going to be making too much of a difference to performance. What we're actually going to be running on is this larger uh, semi-rough curved surface, and uh, you know that's going to give us uh, our grip and uh, that hypersphere um, action. And then uh, the TT1 has a spiral design running around the outside of here, which we, we can see emulated a bit on uh, on our hypersphere one um, then we've got this uh, sort of ridged frame um, on the inside of that uh, which you can't find on the original as well as these teeth um, here that they put on the very inside so that's just an extra design feature that they're thrown in um, and uh, of course we've got uh, the dash uh, spring which uh, I doubt we'll ever see from Hasbro so indicated by that red tab uh, we've just got the regular spring on this one. Uh, so that's it for our performance tip. Let's get this piece together and we'll have a feel of how strong those slopes are. Uh, let's get that forge disc on and our hypersphere performance tip. There we are. And a nice little bump there to initially get it on. And... Uh, Oh, running down what feels like a good angle on those slopes decent amount of grip as well so um, doesn't want to go back the other way too easy oh wow those are some really good slopes there and uh, I would put them well above average so let's grab our hypersphere stadium out and finish off with our test launch all right well we've got the stadium set up now and let's do this test launch three two one go shoot so a bit of a squeal there on contact with the stadium and uh, some nice movement showing a little bit more than what uh, left Astro did probably because there's a slight weight difference and that will be it for this unboxing folks I'll just grab that i hope you liked the video and until next time enjoy the rest of your day